Hello and welcome back. It's Double O Debbie and this is episode 95 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. And today we're back over here doing some more nomadic craft because we're almost there. <laughs> we're getting somewhere. So today um uh, gonna be figuring out what we need to do with our PCBs. <laughs> um there, there are tons of things we can do now. Oh, yeah, let me skip through those. I've been installing upgrades in my system uh, just to get some speed upgrades. Oh, boy, let me tell you, don't put 10 speed upgrades in this. Oh, man, because <laughs> they immediately, with the security upgrade, as soon as I flip the switch, boom, they start escaping pressure <laughs> so it's like <laughs> so i had to remove five of them just for it to be able to not immediately shut off yeah so i had some extra ones so i came in through all of them over here and i immediately had an explosion so i had to install security upgrades in this too um i can maintain a around a four point bar pressure on this system with uh, just one side hooked up but since i put in the two speed upgrades um, and uh, activated this other side it's at 446 so it seems to be stable now so hopefully hopefully it won't go up too too much further <laughs> um no stop it uh but anyway i i got a second one over here i'm not sure i need this but i sure do have the crude oil to do it so i'm gonna do it and i have i have tons of plastic and i'm starting to build up some fuel here so once we get to where we get the liquid uh fuel compressor um we'll have plenty of fuel to to power it and stuff so good job get this i got another i think i'm going to take this one and put it over here <coughs> uh just to get some more plastic i got I got plenty of plastic, but I got a lot of liquid over there, so I don't have any more storage. So, uh, if you see over here, I have all of the different assembly platform ish type dually wops. <laughs> um, so, these are the things we're going to need to make with our circuit board, uh, our finished PCBs. Um, so we only need five of these, so hopefully uh, there's no, like, duplicates or anything. Uh, but we need this advanced pressure tube in order to get our better systems. <laughs> uh, once we get those uh, better compressors, we're going to need better tubes to hold that pressure. And these tubes will hold up to 20 bars, which is way better than the five. Uh, so, yeah, they kind of go hand in hand. So let's see about this assembly platform. I'm pretty sure that, hang on a second. I think I already got the, yeah, I got the autocraft already in here. So all I have to do is this. Okay, we're missing uh, unassembled PCB. Plastic sheets and capacitators. Ah, oh, no. Um, I don't have any capacitators, so we might have to make those. Um, uh, you make a capacitator. Capacitator. It's um, plastic, slime balls, and gold nuggets. I do have the plastic. Oh, wait, I got everything here. Uh, so let's just make up like I don't know, 16. Um, I think it was two, so we'll need like 32 nuggets. There. 
think that's the right thing. And we'll get these and... Oh, we might be able to make the last PCB up because I'm pretty sure uh, that this takes... Uh, we didn't have enough capacitors to do it yesterday. So with these, we should be able to get it all done because we got some extra transistors in there. Okay, we can get that off. Let's just go ahead and do, do it. Yes. Nice. And there is one more printed circuit board. All right, so let's do this. Okay, we're missing the PCB and three plastic. The plastic. Let's just put our PCBs and our plastic in there, I guess. I think I'm missing one of the auto crafters. Okay, here's our assembly platform. Oh, I know what it is because one of the pieces there's the input output unit. It's actually the same unit, only you like put it in your crafting grid to put it to to switch between import and export. So we'll need two of those. What? Do I, do I actually need red stained glass for this or? What was that? The drill? No. Assembly laser. Assembly laser. Assembly laser. Yeah, it looks like it has to be red. Okay, so do I have any red? Oh, I do have a red dot. Oh, man. Okay, so what is it like? There's my glass. Like that? Okay, now we got it. Uh, assembly laser. Shazam! Awesome. Okay, assembly I.O. unit. So we need two of these guys. Oh no, we need some cylinders. I have never made a cylinder before. This is new. So what is... So we have three. How do you spell cylinder? A C. I was going to do it with an S. So what does this take? Okay, uh, cannon barrel. Okay, none of this is really super duper hard. So let's just go and uh, add that to the list real quick. Boink and boink. And then this guy. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to get the five energistic system up and running in there. I'm excited to see some of the differences between AE and refined storage. I mean, I know what some of them are, but it's been a while since I played with applied energistics. Okay, so now we can do the thing. Get rid of the cylinder. Uh, Doot and a doot. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we need one more, the drill. How do we get this going? There we go. And that's all of our component. Now, of course, we'll need pressure. Right now, all I have is air compressors. Uh, well, there's an advanced liquid compressor. Uh, maybe we'll get into that. But just for now, to start out, I'm going to just do, oh wait, just a regular old air compressor. Awesome. So we might need some tubes. 
and our little doodad. Here, yeah, see, you just put it in your crafting grid and it turns the export to an import. Awesome. Uh, we're also going to need like a chest to take things in and out of. I do have like a gold chest, so that should be plenty of room. <laughs> so I guess we can set this up like right here. We could probably put it on this. I just don't have a lot of room up here, and I already have my charging station. Hey, look. Oh, I turned it off. That's right. I was like, look, it stopped going up. It's fixed. Okay. Um, this was really tricky to set up in Crash Landing way back when. So I'm wondering if there's anything different. Uh, let's see. Manufacturing. Here we go. Uh, we already did the UV, the UV light box. And, and got that set up. Ah, here it is. The assembly system. This is what we need. To be able to craft higher tier materials, you'll need an assembly system. A collection of assembly machines. These machines communicate with each other when they're horizontally adjacent. Uh, only one machine of each type can exist, with the exception of the assembly I.O. unit C below. That's the one that you can change from input to output. The assembly line runs on compressed air, but you only need to supply air to the assembly controller to power the whole system. The assembly controller, the brain of the assembly system, it accepts programs which tell the controller how to control the other assembly machines. The controller's display shows diagnostics information about the its status. I'm sure that's not the correct way they wanted that to sound. About, I think it, the was just added. Open the GUI to see what's happening. Uh... The input-output unit is the connection between inventories and the assembly platform. This robot arm can reach diagonal. The input-output unit can either export finished items or import items to be used in crafting. Any inventory can be used, vanilla chest or modded inventory blocks. An assembly system must include two I.O. units, one import unit and one export unit. Orange means it's an export unit. Blue means it's an import unit. For an I.O. unit to work, it needs to be able to breach an assembly platform as well as an inventory to extract or store items, depending on its mode. It's, oh, did I? I don't think I have the controller. Am I missing something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, I have the platform, but I don't have this assembly controller. I missed one. Let's see. Um, assembly controller. Oh, look at that. It takes three PCBs. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Um. That's fine. Okay, we still have four left. That's that's great. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, we're we're learning. Um, where were we? Uh, the assembly drill is. Uh, this, wait a minute, the assembly platform is best positioned centrally as all other machines need to access it. The assembly drill is one of the assembly machines which do the ex actual work. Its diamond drill head is able to drill through the toughest materials. The assembly drill cannot reach diagonally, so it must be located directly adjacent to an assembly platform. Okay. And then the laser. The assembly laser is able to cut through materials used to slice an item up or to cut off edges. Like the assembly drill, this machine cannot reach 
diagonally. <laughs> to craft system, to craft items with the assembly system, put an assembly program in the assembly controller and put the required items in the input inventory. Any items which match a recipe known to the controller in an inserted program will be automatically processed. And here's all the recipes. Okay, I was hoping maybe it would give a gram or something, you know. Um, but it looks like our assembly platform needs to be in the middle that, um, with our little grill and little blazer next to it, right? And controller here. And they said like I'm not sure where where I can put the chest. Maybe I can do like this and then put one doodad on each side. <laughs> um, and then not sure if that is, is valid, but we're going to try it. Ah! we go um <laughs> i do i would definitely like a way to turn this guy off and on so installing a lever would be really nice uh, so we're also going to need a few slabs a uh, salad uh because i don't i don't kind of i don't like this be kind of floaty like that. There we go. Um, maybe I'll take this off. And then um, add one here for a lever. Actually, do I need the redstone? Or can I just put the lever? Uh, definitely put it on high signal. Um, oh, and I had some speed upgrades, uh, but we definitely want the security upgrade so it doesn't exploitate. Uh, and I have some speed upgrades. Maybe we'll put a couple in there. <laughs> I don't know how fast this thing is going to go. Need some charcoal. I'm wheedle, I'm whittling down. No! Oh no! Oh, was it already venting, or did I just uh, set it up wrong? Okay, you're on high signal. Do do. Or is just the, the speed upgrades too great for it? Nope, I just had it turned the wrong way. All right, we're getting power, but we don't. We have our controller, but there's no program in it. So what do we got to do to get the program? You got to have at least three and a half bars. Okay, um, I don't know what the different programs are, or if they've added. Some programs here, we got a program laser, a program drill, a program drill and laser. Um, I think the drill and laser one might be pretty cool. So I think these we get from the trader type dude. So we can either get the drill and the laser and combine it, or we can get the drill and laser for 14 emeralds. How much are these? Eight. 
and eight. So it's a steal for getting 14. So what we do is we get our little tablet. It's already selected on here. Uh, so here it is, the drill and laser. Uh, I think you right click on that and it puts a one there and then you can place your order. Boop. Uh, now the little drone will come down wherever he's at. Aha. And then he'll take the emeralds and then he'll bring the little drill bit or the, the program. There he goes. Nice. Woot! We got our laser. <laughs> I think this is venting already. Yes. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. It's not explodiating. Um, oh, you can put upgrades in here too. Maybe we want to put these you can't access. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll want to put uh, some speed upgrades in here. And look, <laughs> we got it. We got our assembly program drill and laser. So how are we going to do this? Uh, we put... Um, see PCB how do we make these little empty PCBs uh, we do it in a pressure chamber so let's go make up so we need plastic sheets redstone torches and gold nuggets we probably need some gold nuggets probably um redstone torches so let's make up like, I don't know, 32. Wait a minute. Oops, my PCB. Uh, oh, so I'm going to make up 32. I'll need. I'll need a whole 64. All right. So how many more do I need? I need three, seven. There we go. And that means I need a stack of gold. There we go. And then that means I need some plastic. <laughs> um, we might want to put this batch into two, maybe, uh, so that it might not. Yay. So now we can get those and hopefully if we put the PCBs in here, it will it will move it to the platform, etch it, and then move it back into the chest as a unassembled PCB. That's the plan anyway. Oh, there we go. How is our pressure? It's at 314. That didn't hardly take anything. Uh all right, so let's see. Oh, look at that. Tons of stuff. Um, huh, yeah, I always double check to make sure they're supposed to be stacked. Oh, look at him go. He's doing the stuff. He's really slow. Um, can this take speed upgrades? Upgrades. Take security and speed. Oh yeah, I have some more speed. So let's let's grab that out. You can take ten. So there we go. Oh, look at the pressure drop. <laughs> All 
Yeah, this will be much better once we can get some higher pressures. But this system can only handle five bars anyway, so I don't know that you would want to look at it. It's like... <clears throat> oh, you can see the little laser. Get him, get him go! All right, I could probably turn this guy back off. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> More PCBs. There we go. Unassembled PCBs. Nice. Nice. Uh, how are we doing on charcoal? Okay, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. <laughs> awesome. And we got our, our little assembly unit finished uh this is great this will make it so much easier to get our printed circuit boards to continue but another thing that this this gadget can do is make the tubes the advanced tubes uh the advanced pressure tubes boop, boop, boop. So to do this, you can either put 20 pressure chamber valves or one block of compressed iron. Not sure. This is only nine iron. Uh -huh. Well, it only takes eight to make 16, but you gotta have a pressure tube too, so. I don't know, it's probably about the same, only uh, the raw compressed iron would take less steps. Let's see, compressed iron. Ooh, look at all that compressed iron I don't have. Uh, okay, so let's get like a couple of these guys. About three, I guess. Would Oh, it made five. Dang it. Uh, that's okay. So I guess we just throw these in there and it automatically makes it. Maybe. Oh, it grabbed one. It's making it. It's making it. Advanced pressure tubes. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Uh, we definitely need these. We need these to get better compressors. So this is huge. Both of these things <laughs> are huge. I love it. Uh, so these are an actual component in the advanced air compressor and the advanced liquid compressor. So this gets us access to better means of, uh, hey, I bet it takes that too, yeah, of getting pressure into our system so i'm really really happy about this uh, <laughs> so uh, i guess we'll go ahead and we'll call the episode here it was very successful it's almost time just like a minute or two left um i guess i could go show you what i've been doing with uh, my ae system <laughs> i'm i'm trying to hook up this is the ender chest from the miner that I moved from my compact machine over to here because I want to try to get out of the compact machines um, because each one it isn't quite a chunk but it's taking up a full force chunk load um, and it's just a pain having to use the uh, little doodad uh, to teleport in and out all the time. It's something I have to keep on my hotbar at all times because I might have to go in there to do stuff. So I have it set up over here, but I don't have any power run to it yet uh, because I was trying to set up some sort of storage system for all the stuff that it's going to bring in because I have no automation hooked up to this guy at all. Uh, so before I turned that on, I was wanting to get this stuff hooked up. And I just installed a storage controller and these, and I haven't even hooked this guy up yet. 
So I still need to like link it and lock them and all that stuff. Uh, I think if I do the linking, boom. Um, can't you do some type of um, swap to multiple? That's what I thought. Okay. So, boom. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No. I didn't want to remove it. So, oh, there we go. Okay, now we got it. There we go. Now it's linked. Um, can I lock them all? There we go. It's easier to do this before you get anything coming into your system because then you don't have to worry about locking them individually because <laughs> you don't want to activate the system and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and get all the different ores and stuff coming in uh, so that I can then put them on all of these storage things. Now, these storage things don't have upgrades yet, so I'll probably spend a little bit of time getting, getting all these upgraded because, I mean, copper... Uh, I have 38,000 copper, so <laughs> uh, these things, the copper upgrades are 100% copper. Uh, so there's no reason to not have them. Like, ooh. Oh, it does take some of these, but that's okay. I have some extra oak doors. Uh, and each one, that would give me a ton of sword to start out with and it will be great. Uh, we also need void upgrades, and I'm pretty sure I have those on Autocraft too. So, and I still have 20. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have more than 20. I think it's uh, a stack plus a few. Uh, so yeah, I will do some of this these things off in between episodes and <laughs> yeah anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye